Alright, for this week I'm going to be doing the entire demo on my phone, um, so everything that you're seeing uh, is being handled by uh, my touch on, the, on my iPhone here. So this is our main menu. It's been uh, revamped a little bit, it's still needs some work on um, formatting to fit a, a phone um, screen and resolution, but these are five main menu items. Play, how to play, so shop, options and credits, we'll go through each one here. I've created a fade script that will fade the music and the background um, between each scene to give it a more polished look. Um, here's the shop. You can go to each one of these selections um, and where you'll be able to choose your type of ship, bio ship, um, different upgrades you would like for that ship, and then some cosmetic upgrades here as well. I'll be um, uh, working on these at a later date. Um, here is the options. You can still choose the volume save it between scenes. You can go back, you go to credits here for the last, and that's us. I'm going to play, because this is where I've done a lot of work to, uh, this week. Um, it's still controlled by the accelerometer. I've created this pause menu and, um, in the previous uh, week, and, but this time, uh, this week I've created a button that will recalibrate uh, the current position, the X, Y, and Z positions um, of the accelerometer and set those as the new center point for you. So if you didn't like when the game started, how your ship was moving around, you can remove it. You can move your phone around and hit that button, and it will set it to the current uh, position of the phone for you. So um, you can go back still. Here it saves that volume uh, between each uh, scene. Um, you can go back, we can play. Um, I've also added this rotation to the ship. Uh, makes it look a little cooler. You're also seeing these spheres coming at the ship. These are going to be, uh, these are just enemy placeholders right now. These are going to be the enemies for the player to shoot and dodge. Um, right now, the uh, collision detection between bullets and uh, the, um, the ship and the enemies are not working yet. Unity's a new version handles rigid body collision detection differently. i got to do some research to figure that out. But uh, here's shooting as well. I'm hitting the bottom right button there. That's just a big button for shooting. You can hit it as many times and it'll shoot as fast as you hit it. Still, you can also um, uh, do barrel rolls as well. So, yeah, also what was something I worked on and took me quite a while but figured it out too is that when you pause, um, the enemies also will stop moving. You hit on pause and they'll move again. Also, um, bullets as well. I'm not sure if you can see, but they're frozen there in time as well. They won't. Um, as long as it's uh, paused as well. Uh, I was kind of proud of getting that to work. But um, that's our demo this week. Um, I hope next week to have uh, those menus formatted a little bit better and um, also add some, new, uh, of, uh, some more uh, of Cody's art assets as models to the game. I know he's been working on those and I believe he has some of those ready. So you'll be seeing those next week. Uh, thank you so much for watching.